All right, folks, good afternoon to you. It is, and according to my time, it is about 12.50. I'm about 50 minutes late, but it's better late than never. So good to see all of you. Pastor Gerson, I'm on my way, man. I'm on my way to Orlando. Yes. See all of you. God bless you. God bless you, Suzette. I see you, Deborah. Thank you. Thank you for identifying yourself. Thank you for at least saying good afternoon, Bishop and Doris and Beverly. Thank you. Let me see. Uh... Ganin, I, I know I butchered your name. I'm sorry. Um, forgive me. <laughs> okay. God bless you. Well, I am so excited about this day. Truly, it is an amazing Friday. Some people say, thank God it is Friday. I don't know what's on your mind. I really don't know what you're going through, what problems or concerns you may have today, but I want you to know that you serve a God that says, give me your problems, cast all your cares upon the Lord. That's the word of the Lord. So I want to speak directly to people who's got a lot in their mind. You know, you know, there's an old saying people used to say, I got a lot in my chest. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I'm angry and bitter. Maybe you're frustrated. Maybe you're depressed. You know, perhaps you are confused. Maybe you're waiting for a miracle, a breakthrough, and it has not happened yet. I want you to know God is able. Please hear me. God is able. He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think of him. Where's your faith? Where is your faith? Cast those concerns to the Lord. Give that problem over to the Lord. Give that job situation over to the Lord. Give that supervisor over to the Lord. Give that unreasonable difficult person to deal with, turn that person over to the Lord. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord. Let the Lord fight for you. Don't you try to get carnal with your attitude and your response. You know, you let the Lord handle it. Turn that crazy spouse over to the Lord. Turn them crazy children over to the Lord. That friend who betrayed you, turn that person over to the Lord. You know, uh, that financial crisis, turn it over to the Lord. That medical report that you received. Somebody woke up this morning. I don't know who it is. I just hear the Holy Spirit just placed it in my spirit. Someone woke up this morning and uh, there's some strange things happening in your body. There's some signs of concern and, and it's having you worried and you have not had a good morning so far. I want you to know you're healed. Please hear me, you are healed in Jesus' name. Turn it all over to God. That's what you need to do, right? You know, just turn it over to God. Let the Lord handle that situation. I'm gonna pray with you in just a moment, but I want you to know that God can fix that situation for you. Just go ahead and live your life today and know that God says, give me your problems, cast it to me, throw it. One translation say, throw it. Just cast it to the Lord. So whatever that situation is, give it to God on this Friday. I don't know where you're watching from. It doesn't matter what state. It doesn't matter what city. It doesn't matter what country. God can never be limited by a, a, a location. He will do exceedingly, abundantly, above what you can ever think. He will always go beyond your expectation. So cast it over to the Lord. I'm on my way up to Orlando. I'm preaching for Pastor uh, Gerson and Jacqueline Torado there in Orlando. So if you're in the Orlando area, I want you to come by 
and see us. Come by and see us. Go to my website, henryfernandez.org, or you can go on my um, Facebook or Instagram page, and you'll be able to see the information there. Click on the itinerary link above where it says menu or itinerary. If you click there, it'll tell you exactly the location and so forth. I'll be preaching tomorrow. In fact, the conference starts today, um, and I pray that you will go and see them. Go and see them. They're great people. I can't wait. I'm excited. Someone from South Africa is saying, um, and say, okay, uh, I wish I could be there. I think that's what they're saying. Uh, but anyway, um, Orlando, I am coming. Pastor Torado, I am coming. I am expecting God to move in a mighty way on tomorrow. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am so glad that your word is true, that you will never, ever fail your people. And today, while so many people have so many burdens on their hearts, their minds, I pray that the Holy Spirit would help them to find that peace in you where they'll throw all their issues and problems to you. They'll turn it all over to you and go ahead and live their life knowing, Father, that sooner or later you will show up in their lives. I pray that you will heal them of sickness, disease. I pray you will comfort those who are mourning of the death of a loved one. I pray that you will give someone peace and let anxiety be gone out of their lives about that job situation, about that relationship situation, about that family crisis, about that financial crisis, about that medical crisis, about that business situation. Father, someone right now, their business need desperate cash. They have to get desperate cash because they're going to close and not only close. Somebody, Lord, is facing a legal battle right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for healing. I pray for divine coverage. I pray for restoration. I pray for supernatural miracles to take place in that business now. Father, thank you for the resources. It's coming, Father. You're going to bring it from the east, the west, the north, and the south. And Father, I so stand in agreement with that woman, that man, that before the end of 2021, they are going to say, look what the Lord has done. It is marvelous in my eyes because you showed up for them. Bless them now, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you, Sister Iva. God bless you, Sand. God bless you, Donald. God bless all of you. Make it a great weekend. It is rainy here in South Florida today. But it's going to be a good weekend. End today well because God is with you. Listen to me. God is with you. Please know that God is with you. Say it. Say it. God is with me. Come on. Make it personal. God is with me. Yes. Yeah, say it again. God is with me. God is with me. You got to convince yourself, man. God is with you. Now, I hope you can join us if you're in the area. I'm right here in the beautiful city of Sunrise, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is our church. I hope you come out and hang with us if you are in the local area. Sunday, 10 o'clock is our English service in person. 12 o'clock is our Spanish service done virtually only. And uh, um, I just hope that you can be here. If not, you can watch us virtually on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, Facebook, you can watch us or on the internet, the Faith Center, INT.org, or HenryFernandez.org. You can watch us live. God bless you. This is a wonderful facility. I want to show off on this. I want to show off. Wait, don't you go nowhere. I want you to see this. Look at, look at our, this is our lobby. And uh, we can't wait to see you here. We can't wait to see you in our lobby. As you come together, you greet one another on a Sunday. Staff members will be here. If you need to find out about ministry information, the information desk is right there. Or you can get tickets for um, upcoming events. You walk through the main doors here. I mean, this is just a beautiful place. The ambiance is just great. People hang out here every Sunday.
praise the Lord, just to have fun, just to, you know, chat. This is the photo section. They always take photos here. And uh, it's just an amazing place. And, you know, that's the warmth and the spirit that's in this building. It's just unbelievable. Come out and join us this Sunday at 10 a.m. We can't wait to see you. Partners, you are making this possible. You are providing a place of comfort for God's people to come to hear the word. But I want you to know on uh, the Saturday before Thanksgiving, right outside those glass doors, we are going to be feeding up to 3,000 families, giving them free turkey or a chicken with bags of groceries to cook a family Thanksgiving meal. Would you join us in supporting the ministry as we not only take care of Dare to Care, but we also take care of the preaching of the gospel. We need your help. I need your help. This is where the food distribution is going to come. Uh, families are going to drive up on this side of the property and we are going to let them open the trunk of the car and we're going to put groceries. M hundreds of members of my church are volunteering, giving back their time to the needy, helping those who are in need. So this Thanksgiving, while we are worried about what we're going to eat, we're more worried about what the other people are going to eat. So I just want you to financially support us as we do the work of the Lord. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. I need you to support the ministry. Would you stand with us? You can support us with uh, your giving through Cash App, Text to Give, or Zelle, or, or PayPal, whatever you would like to give, great or small, do so today. Would you do that? The information is coming up right now. They're going to show it to you. Cash App is very easy. It's the dollar sign TFC Give, the dollar sign TFC Give, or you can use text to give 73256, and the keyword is TFC Give. Go to our website, henryfernandez.org, click on the Give link, or the faithcenterint.org. Zell or PayPal. Thank you so much for supporting the ministry. If you believe in tithing, if you believe in supporting the work of the Lord, then I challenge you on today to support. Do it now. You know you have the heart to do it. God's just been waiting on you. Now he has given you the opportunity through this ministry uh, to do it. Stand with me uh, today in your giving, and I appreciate it. God bless you. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in church, in person, or virtually this Sunday. God bless now. Take care. Bye-bye.